Uh, I don't know, today I might discuss um, stuff like YouTube content strategy and how to sort of create a strategy for YouTube for 2019 because I know loads of you are going to jump into the YouTube space. And the episode has just exported, exported, not exported, exported. Anyways, what is our vlog? Welcome to another episode. This is the first vlog I'm actually doing in 2019, or the first one that comes out in 2019, but the first one that's being filmed in 2019. Today is Thursday, the 3rd of January. Just finished editing and exported this 2019 Goals and Roadmap video. I'm not sure what day this comes out on, but the 2019 Goals and Roadmap is a Friday YouTube video. So, uh, I don't know, today I might discuss um, stuff like YouTube content strategy and how to sort of create a strategy for YouTube for 2019 because I know loads of you are going to jump into the YouTube space and want to start killing it. I want to start killing it, so I've got some beast mode on and I might give you a few things that I'm going to try out. I'm not some sort of amazing YouTuber with a million subscribers or something, uh, but many of you are in the same place as I am trying to grow your YouTube channel, so uh, I'll help you out some of the things that I'm sort of doing that have worked out on the way. And yeah, that is the Pickle Rick post which I discussed in uh, a vlog, which should come out today in terms of filming time, and I don't know when in terms of your time, so yeah. Anyway, pretty great post I got for Christmas from my sister. Also, what do you think of this look? I don't know, I liked it, I just, I'm, that's why I'm staring at the, the flip screen so much. Because I like this sort of look for videos. It's pretty great, I might use it on future sort of vlogs, I don't know. It's just, where's my phone? Eh, yeah, forget about it, we'll find it. So I just wanted to save this moment so I know stuff. So I can remember this, uh, you know, take future stuff. But anyways, let's get on with the day. Right, what is up people, I'm back. I uh, had a quick Fortnite break, I'm back now. Wait. And I just wanted to start discussing how to sort of go about content strategies. So, this I usually do before the year ends, so end of, during December of 2018, I started to build out my content strategy. For the entire year of 2019, I'm hoping that 2019 is going to be the best year yet. So I'm going to give it my all with all the goals and targets that I've set for myself. That I've set for myself, you can check out the episode of JK Tech Show where I discussed all my goals. Anyways, uh, one of the main apps that I use on my phone for this was an app called Trello. They haven't sponsored this or anything, but just pop up some screen share or something. Anyway, this Trello app, you basically go and create a board and you start adding things. So what I did was going to have a system for the content that's going to come out each day in terms of the JK Tech Show. There's going to be a vlog every day regardless and do the, I do the three-day vlog system, which I created myself, which is film, edit, shoot, each one on a separate day. So let's say vlog one gets filmed on Monday, edited on Tuesday. Okay, let's, let's, let's go it down from vlog 1 and start on Monday, basically. So, on Monday we film vlog 1. Tuesday I edit vlog 1 and film vlog 2. Wednesday, post vlog 2, post, post vlog 1, edit vlog 2, and film vlog 3. And that's just going to how it goes with a 3-day vlog system. Anyways, with this Trello app, I'm just able to set a schedule for each of the episodes of the JK Tech Show. I have my scheduled episodes, which obviously need to have all the process gone down, the planning, the scripting, all like the planning and research, the scripting, recording the audio and visuals, getting B-roll, doing editing, posting, the post-upload production stuff, post-upload post stuff where I promote and stuff like that. And all of that is part of that just one schedule. Then I have a list for ideas, which are just random ideas. I haven't really sort of filtered through them yet. Pretty much unfiltered thoughts from my mind. They go into there. 
And uh, when I sort of gone through them and made that sort of a solid idea, given it a proper title and everything, goes into the scheduled date. And on the schedule day, it's going to get scripted and filmed and all that kind of jazz. Now for today, I've edited and sorted out like the entire video for tomorrow in terms of the JK Tech Shop. The vlog, I'll probably do it later tonight. Now, what I want to do is I have this podcast of all the 180 plus films that I've watched last year ranked from worst to best. And that's going to come out. It's going to be like a mega podcast, 2018 to 2019 special. I'm hoping we can get that released on Sunday. If we do, that that would be really amazing. So if it's on Sunday, mm, that's the time I want it. Saturday, there'll be an episode of the... the uh, what is it called? <laughs> on Saturday, there'll be an episode of JK Tech News, hopefully. We'll see how that goes down. But anyway, I want to work on this one because it's going to be a mega podcast. So what I need to do is get all of the films ranked, and that is probably the most tedious process of it all. So, I mean, at least I get to watch some YouTube or Netflix while I'm doing it. So let's start with that. Right, just got to address a couple of quick things. Number one, are you going to do Q&A? Yes, on Wednesdays, on the vlogs, every single week. Number two, what happened with your ranking of films? Well, I think I might push the podcast to next week, so I have time to actually rank the films and uh, get the other content out at the same time, so we don't get content like. That's, hopefully that should address that point. And I want to give a couple of quick tips on uh, sort of building your own content strategy. Now, if you're recording a lot of content, which you should be, if I was in your place, the more content, the more content you can push out, the better. If you can get in the midway point between quality and quantity, I think that's the best place because good quantity, good quality, that's great. So what I'm trying to do, because I'm just trying to go the extra mile, I'm going to try and go with great quality and great quantity, which basically means you have no leisure time. Which basically means you have no spare time. If you're willing to sacrifice that, then obviously, you know, going the way that I'm doing is probably the best way for your channel. If not, then just do as much as possible that you can without sacrificing too much quality. Now, because I post a ton of pictures on social media, I post tons and tons and tons of video content. Like I post two long form videos every single day on YouTube. I post videos on social media, yada, yada, yada. So I get tons of video content. I make movies, aside from the two videos I post each day on YouTube. So it just, it goes insane. Hard drives are a number one priority investment. I have a one terabyte hard drive and a four terabyte hard drive, so. I'm probably going to use the 4 terabyte to have a backup of the 128 gigabytes of my computer and then I'm going to use it for other things because I have created an entire system for backing up. That is something very vital. I'll discuss it separately in, a J the, in one of the JK Texture episodes because it is really important for everyone to have a just a nailed down backup system. But anyways, for me, I have my own sorted system. That is definitely something you need to do at the start of the year if you haven't got one. If you've just got a new hard drive, make sure you apply your system that you already have. Or get a new system before you start using it. I'll probably be buying like one big hard drive a year. I don't know how much I'll fill. We'll see what happens at the end of the year. Uh, if I check in the last probably week, I have filled about five gigabytes. Um, okay, maybe one of, one of them was like a gigabyte for the system and then like four gigabytes are filled which is quite a bit in like less than a week so also that week there wasn't a lot of content now there's going to be a huge amount of content i don't know i might even finish this by the way do i in the year who knows but the important message i'm trying to convey is definitely have a locked down backup system in place ready for you to just get everything sorted out aside from that remember the trello app is pretty beneficial Planning out the entire month in terms of content is great. Uh, I'm thinking of maybe doing, uh, for like, because obviously I'm going to have school soon, like one weekend writing, one weekend filming, like the entire weekend. So like the two and a half days basically, 
or just be writing so you have tens and tens of videos just written because I can write pretty fast and tens of videos like an hour and I probably finish a script so many hours of that many many scripts and then filming the videos so I'll probably have like scripting throughout the week and some on the weekend maybe and then I have like a filming weekend where I can just film a ton of scripts and then an editing weekend and then I don't know just alternate like that but you've got to create good systems for yourself because systems are vital in creating a ton of content and just a great content strategy yeah I'm going to do some scripting now I have to often check the YT statistics because I get comments at different times because I upload several videos a day Got to check the likes, ratios, all that kind of jazz. Uh, yeah, but I feel like a juice. By the way, watching Narcos just started it. If it goes well, I'll finish Narcos and then start watching Narcos Mexico. And also, how I saw that video there went down and then auto played in the next one. That's why that's there.